But once again, we, we see how quickly things change. Uh, these phones I documented yesterday and many times before that. It's a prey phone with go to church, read Bible, but no signature prey, at least not that I, I could detect. And I like how the phone number is handwritten. Now this one has dial tone. And I'm about to find out if this is the last dial tone in Astoria. Actually, I know, I know at least one other one. But... The other two that used to be over here... I think they were here yesterday. Have turned into ghosts. And I'll bet you that this, uh, this dining establishment was just begging to get these things out of their way. <laughs> this, is, uh, these are, this is Steinway Street at uh, Addie's Barbecue. But like I said, I, these things, as far as the outdoor dining arrangement went, they really must have been a real pain in the ass for these guys. So now they'll, maybe they'll add some more tables where these payphones used to be. I don't know. Find out. So that's two more down. I'm about to turn the corner on 30th Ave and 34th Street. And I don't know if these phones are still going to be here. They're gone. They're gone. They were here yesterday. There were two of them. And these were, these were outside of Ovilia. It's a place I've been to a couple of times. Actually, you know what? There was only one here. That's right. I thought this was a... A twofer, like the last one. If it were a twofer, there would be two yellow mats, but there's only one. It had new ads on it, so... There you go. This one hadn't worked in a long time either. Next stop is... what might be only... one of three dial tones working in Astoria. We'll see if it's still there. It was there yesterday. I'm turning the corner here on Hoyt Avenue at 31st Street. And they are gone. Wow. A fully functional payphone is, is gone. One of these two worked. These were pretty filthy and disgusting. And they had been surrounded by fence for well over a year while they did road work here. So nobody was able to use them, but in spite of that, they, they kept putting new advertising panels on them. Proving what we already know, that payphones out here were never really intended to be public amenities, just money-making ad panels. So, hey, there's a dog. So it remains to be seen if the Link NYC kiosk replaces these two things. I don't know why they would put the yellow mats there for any other reason, except to signal that that's what's coming next, but time will tell. This is the phone on 21st Street at 33rd Road in this, um, this strip mall. Where, by the way, the liquor store reopened recently. They've been on for a while. I'm going to have to be careful about this one and maybe get this phone another day because there's a creepy looking wino skulking around this, this strip mall, but... But this is probably going to be the last dial tone in Astoria, curbside at least, unless the owner finally throws in the towel. He's been holding on to the bitter end. He used to make money from ads, but these are just public service announcements. And my hands are full. I'm not going to pick this phone up right now. And like I said, I don't want to stay too long because there's a weirdo. There's my card. 
but this has dial tone and like I said the way things are going this is going to be the last the last dial tone although I'm reminded that there are a couple of indoor phones where there used to be there's one or was one at O'Hanlon's which is a bar up on uh, up by Dittmar's and there was one probably still is at a place called Kelly's Bar and I'm only hesitant to check in on those because I hate both those bars and I don't really like going to bars anyway but maybe I'll give in give in to my scruples <laughs> 